All right, guys, you asked for it, so I'm delivering. In this video, we're doing an overview of the Daredevil by Charles Soul Omnibus. I'm gonna flip through the pages. Let's do all of it. What's up, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. And if not, welcome back. On this channel, I do comic book unboxings, reviews, haul videos, and everything in between. So if you're new here and you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell icon. That way you're notified when new videos go live. Uh, now, today I'm doing an overview. <laughs> so a little while back, I had a, posted a huge haul from Organic Price Books, and you guys were like, wait, we want to see that one up close, of course. I'm talking about the Daredevil by Charles Soul Omnibus. Uh, now, this is the direct market version. Uh, so the standard cover is actually due out either this week or next week. This is like the first book in a very long time or I think ever that I've seen where the direct market cover comes out weeks before the standard cover. Uh, so I'll pop that. We'll, the, we'll, we'll see what the standard cover looks like. Um, but because you guys requested this overview, I'm gonna switch up the camera and do an overview. Now, before I do, I gotta give a quick shout out to our cha channel sponsor, Organic Priced Books. They are the best place to look for collected editions like this omnibus. Now, if you're looking for the Daredevil by Charles Soule, whether you want the DM variant, the direct market variant like this one, or the original, they are in stock and you can order them at organicpricebooks.com. When you do, use my coupon code at checkout, this is BJ Kicks, and you'll save $2 on every order every time. So without further ado, let's get into this overview. All right, guys, by popular demand, here we are looking at the Daredevil by Charles Soul Omnibus. Um, now, this says it belongs on the shelf among Brubaker's, Bendis, and Miller's classic takes on the character. That's a quote from Kaboom. Uh, funny story, I don't own any of those runs of Daredevil. This is my first Daredevil Omnibus. I'm thinking I'm going to go back and get Bendis, which I need to hurry up because it's going out of print soon, I think. Um, and Brubaker is getting a reprint next year. So yeah, I definitely got to get Bendis sooner than later if I'm going to get him at all. Uh, but as you can see, my copy is still sealed. So first, let's fix that. I'm trying to do this without the use of any tools. Perhaps that's not the best thing to do. Maybe it's a futile effort. Resistance is, yeah, this is dumb. I'm gonna get a tool. <laughs> All right, back with the tool. So let's go ahead and get this open. All right, and All right, that's enough. Put this away from books, let's just throw it. Yep, we tossed it. Now. Let's open this up and try not to damage this dust jacket in the process. So satisfying. All right, so here we are. Daredevil by Charles Soule. Art by Ron Garney, Phil Noto. And why would I do this to myself? Because I don't know that name right there. Um, so let's go ahead and take this dust jacket off. I'm going to give it a proper opening, but as I do, you can see the, uh, Phil Noto, and this is what would have been the standard edition cover. Honestly, I don't know. I might like this standard cover better, but I bought the DM cover. I like the DM cover. I got them both right here. I'm not mad at my decision. So. Anyway, let's take this dust jacket off and boom. So on the French flaps, you're not going to be able to see it because this is small text on a white background, but we got biography on the story, not a biography. We got a summary of the story and biographies on the creators. Ron Garney, Phil Noto, Goren Suzuka, and Charles Soule, the writer, of course. So. Let's move this aside for just a moment. And on the hardcover itself, we got the original image by Phil Noto. On the back, we've got the same direct market cover as we had before by David Lopez. 
I don't know. This is growing on me. I like this. Yeah, I'm glad I got this. I'm glad I got this. And on the spine, we got a black spine on the hardcover. My man Day Day is like, why couldn't we get a black spine on the dust jacket? I don't know. I like this dust jacket. So anyway, let's set it aside. And I'm going to give this a proper stretching. Ooh, nice red bookend pages. Oh. Oh, yeah. This one is kind of notorious for pages sticking together. So we're going to have to go through it kind of slowly. All right. Ooh. All right, I was just gonna see if I can flex these pages a little bit. See how much that helps. Man, you guys hear that crackling? What is going on? All right, cool. So we got it stretched out and now let's start this overview. Um, but man, these pages sticking together is not the business. So once again, red book and pages, Daredevil by Charles Soule and very cool image here of Daredevil and unknown <laughs> assistant. Uh, but what do we have here? We got all new, all different point one. Daredevil 1 through 5, Daredevil 6 and 7. What does this collect? This whole book collects Daredevil 1 through 28 and 595 through 612, the annual number 1, Daredevil Punisher 7 Circle 1 through 4, material from all new, all different point one number 1 uh, by Charles Soule, Ron Garney, Gorn Suzuka, Phil Noto, Matt Mila, Christos Gage, Roger McKenzie, Matteo Buf Bufagni? Bufani. Mark Laming, Alec Morgan, Stefano Landini, Mike Perkins, Mike Henderson, Vanessa Del Rey, Ben Torres, Simon Kudiransky, Riley Brown, Mast, Andrew Troy, Matt Lopez, Miroslav Mirva, and Jim Charlampidis. Charlampidis? Lampedes? Man, that was a mouthful. Cover price on this is $125. I believe this is available from Organic Price Books for just 80, might be 70. I don't, I no longer remember how much I paid for this book. I should remember, but I don't. Um, so yeah, very cool. It says perhaps more than any other character in comics, Matt Murdock has, has been blessed or should that be cursed with a murderous row of visionary writers, each competing to make his life more hellish than the one before. Frank Miller, Anna Senti, Kevin Smith, Bendis, Brubaker, Mark Way, the list goes on. Perhaps no one has been more qualified to helm a superhero lawyer's adventures than Charles Soule, himself a lawyer by training. In his three years on the title, he brought all his legal expertise to bear, crafting a shocking saga that takes Matt from the mean streets of Hell's Kitchen to the Supreme Court to the New York Mayor's Office, and one that, as has become tradition, has a baton to Soul's successor with the storytelling challenge. Now Soul's entire run is collected in a single stunning volume. Uh, Matt leaves San Francisco behind to head back to Hell's Kitchen, but now he's on the other side, working for the district attorney, training a young hero blind spot, and sharing a new dynamic with older allies, including Spider-Man and Elektra. Daredevil has a plan to save a city from all those who prey on it once and for all, but the worst among them is about to rise to power. And when Wolf Wilson Fisk takes charge of the Big Apple, Matt must think fast as his world begins to spiral out of control once again. One way or another, he'll take Kingpin down. Or <laughs> That's a Boondocks reference. But anyway, 
So this is going to be my first experience with Daredevil. The issue for me is when I ask people like, hey, where do I start with Daredevil? What I'm told is, and they kind of alluded to it there, Daredevil is just one of those books that it's like every run is important and every run builds in a way on the last. So yeah, there are several places you can jump in, but most people who love Daredevil are like, dog, start with Bendis. He's got two Omnis. Then go to Brubaker. He's got two Omnis. Then go to Mark Wade. He's got two Omnis. Then, then Charles Soule, who now has the one Omni. And this Charles Soule Omni leads directly into the Chip Zdarsky run that we are currently in. Man, these pages sticking together. I might have to go through this one by one. I'm gonna have to do that later. We don't have time for this, but I kind of have to because they're all sticking. So this is common for whatever reason with this book. Um, I can tell you, I'm not having any issues with like any ink coming off the pages or anything like that. So that's not something you gotta worry about. But they are sticky. There is like, I don't know if this is a static cling or what. Um, but yeah, so why did I decide to get this omnibus? Well, from what I understand, Mark Wade's Daredevil just took him in a different direction um, that just wasn't what people or fans are used to. And this run, this Charles Soule run, kind of resets him in a way. So no, I'm not going to have all the history of Daredevil, but at least I'm going to have a nice run that wraps up all in one um, and kind of gets to the essentials of who Daredevil is. And I'll go back and fill in the gaps later if, you know, I decide that Daredevil is a character that I want to invest that heavily in. And because this leads directly into the stuff that's out now. And the stuff that's out now is really interesting. I think Chip Zdarsky is going to have like one of those runs for the ages. I'm reading Devil's Reign right now, and it's just dope. All right, let's speed this up. Because what you guys really want is an overview of art, but you also want to know, how's the build quality? How's it going? I feel like this whole process that I'm in right now kind of speaks to that. But I'm going to oblige you guys anyway. So, I mean, it's a Marvel Omnibus. This ribbon is lifting up nicely. Once I get the pages separated, this will be a much better experience. And like I said, I don't know if that's an issue with the printer or what. Like, this is not the norm. I'll tell you that much. This is the most trouble a Marvel Omnibus has get given me. And it's honestly not that much trouble. I will say the inks on this page are super rich, like a lot of black pages, a lot of black borders, as you can see, like this book, it's pretty high quality, high gloss on the pages. These covers are awesome. The artwork in this. Okay, cool. I moved that light so you guys wouldn't get the glare, but yeah, I don't think I've seen a bad art page yet. And that's awesome. All right. <laughs> These pages sticking, man. Ooh, that looks cool. So obviously turning pages one by one is not the idea because we we'll start like spoiling stories. I love this cover. But I can tell you this much, just looking at the artwork, I'm glad I got this. All right. There's Electra here, variant cover by Sarah Pacelli. Nice. All right, so we're halfway through. And as you can see, it's laying down pretty flat. I'm not getting a lot of gutter loss, just sticky pages. But look, once you unstick the pages, you don't have to unstick them again, see? So I think it is just like a static cling. Try not 
trying to skip around. Man, look at that page. I'll tell you what, man. Marvel comics and the art, like, never really disappoint. I've not read a Marvel run yet where the art was just like, ugh, I can't read this. This is atrocious. I've run across a few DC books and a few indies where I was just like, ah, I can't get into this, man. But, uh, yeah, even with there being multiple artists on this, nothing is taking me out of the story. Well, I haven't read the story, but nothing is looking at, nothing is standing out to me like, oh, this isn't the move. I'm trying to break up all these pages. Oh, here we go. We got some, uh, we got some appearances from some all new, all different Marvel. We got Jane Foster Thor here. We got Miles Morales. We got Sam Wilson, Captain America. We got uh, Miss Marvel and Hulk. All new, all different Hulk. I'm just joking. He's just he's just Hulk. <laughs> um, ooh, I love this Scotty Young variant. I might have to go track this one down. I love that. All red. So nice. All right, so we're in the back half of the book and I wanna be even more careful about spoilers. But I mean, I gotta open this, all right. So, I mean, this very clearly sets up some things for the current Daredevil run. Like, because right now in Daredevil, uh, Wilson Fisk, Kingpin, is the mayor. And, well, I won't spoil Devil's Reign, because if you're reading this, it might, you might be trying to read this before you read Zdarsky. And I don't want to spoil anything. But I'll tell you this, um, this does seem to set that up nicely. And apparently it's a tradition for Daredevil writers to set up the next story arc for their successors. Yeah. So this will be my first Daredevil story, which I've said like 18 times, but I'm excited. I think this is gonna be a good one. Nice appearance by Bullseye I skipped over. Oh, Misty Copeland. Nah, Misty Copeland. Misty, Misty Knight, I think is her name. And Spidey. I mean, Daredevil is a street level hero. I love street level books. So this should be right up my alley. Here we got Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage. Maybe that's Jessica Jones or maybe that's somebody I don't know. Moon Knight, Misty. Maybe this is Kyle. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll find out in the story, clearly. One day, I'll like get my Marvel knowledge down. That's why I buy these Omnis. I buy the Omnis to learn the history. I buy single issues just to jump into good reading. But um, yeah, all in all, it's all comics. It's all good. It's all fun, right? All right, and like I said, here we are in the back of the book. Staying open pretty well, I'll say that much. Um, But man. This book is thick. There are a lot. There's a lot of book in this book. A lot of issues. All right, pages are sticking together less. So that's good. And boom. I'm trying to just skip to some extras or the extras. Boom. And here we are. Okay, so yeah, that is some ink coming off. Thankfully, it's just a black page. Ooh. Gotta be careful. Ooh. That's a wrap. Cool, all right, so extras. We got this How to Draw Daredevil by Chip Zdarsky which is great because Daredevil ends up being written by Chip Zdarsky after this. We got some covers, some pinups. I love this appearance by the new Avengers. Ooh, this would have been a dope cover, Marvel. I like that a lot, Joe Quesada. 
all, all of these are by Joe Quesada. It's the same image, but different outfits. I like it. Adi Granoff. Okay. I like that too. Frank Miller. Can't talk about Daredevil without talking Frank Miller, right? Man, all of these covers are epic. Very cool. And there, that's the end. Wow. <laughs> How Vincent Donfronio of you. Very cool. This is dope. So I'm not disappointed at all. I'm very excited that I have this. And that was your overview. Cause like I said, you guys requested it. So this was the overview of Daredevil by Charles Soule. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, I lied. I do have one more thing because I did spend all that time meticulously, painstakingly uh, separating all those pages. So I do want to just show you that I can flip through this really quickly and everything is fine. Like, no more of that weird cracking. Pages aren't sticking together anymore. As you can see, very flexible, no gutter loss, no issues. Right here in the middle. So no problems there and boom, there's that spine. So you wanna know how the build was? The build's great, cause Marvel's great. So that's it, no issues now we can end the video. Like I said, if you're looking for this book, you can find it. It is still in stock at Organic Price Books. So go to organicpricebooks.com. Make sure you use the link in the description below and my discount code will be applied automatically or you can just type it in at checkout. It's just my name, BJ Kicks, all one word. Um, but yeah, this is definitely, this looks like it's worth the read. I'm gonna read this one sooner than later because boy, is that exciting. So uh, anyway, that's going to do it for me. Hope you saw something you liked in this video. And if not, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.